Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, we get to discuss yet another exciting feature addition to Power BI. We now have the ability to conditionally set the page navigation for a button through the use of slicer selections. This allows you to now create a more compact and intuitive user experience for page navigation. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So I have two primary things on the page. I have a slicer that's called page navigation that will contain the page that I want to navigate to, and then a button over here on the right that will let me navigate to that page. Now, if you're curious how I made this pretty cool looking button that actually uses an image that you can apply into there, and then with a little bit of formatting magic and making some transparent parts, you can actually have it with a clickable effect. I will link you to the video of how I did this over on the right pane or down in the description. But for this video, I'll focus on how to do the page navigation actions. So to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and select page two and then click here. And now you can see that it navigated to page two. If I did that with page three, select it. There you go, it navigates to page three. So I can make a selection with the slicer and then use the button to navigate to the corresponding page. Notice if we select the button here and go to action, what we have is a type called page navigation. Now, traditionally what we could do is we could specify the exact page to go to, but notice that it has that F of X symbol. So let me control Z back, there we go. That means that there's a measure that's being harvested to grab a page name from this slicer that's being funneled into this. Now you might also notice I did a little bit of formatting magic. I do use emoji symbols in here. So each of these pages down at the bottom does include just a fun little icon just to show you that you can. All that is is something that was typed in and copied and pasted into it. And you'll see in a second where I use that for the slicer selection. So let me open up the fields pane. And you'll notice that there is a table in here called page navigation. This is a disconnected table, which is what is being currently used in my slicer. And there's also a measure for page selection, and that's simply grabbing the selected value. So that is returning, if I drag and drop this onto my page and convert this to a card, we can see that page one or page two or page three is being returned. And this is what is telling the button over here in the action section, which page to go to because this matches up with the page name, including that emoji symbol, and then it navigates to any of the pages below. And this is a simple Power Query query. I go to Edit Query and take a look in here. And under Source, I used the Enter Data button up here. So if I pop this open, you'll see that I typed in the same page name as I did on the tabs in the actual report itself. And there's just the three page names with the emoji symbol, same one that's been copied and pasted. However, in here, it just renders black and white but you do see that it renders as a rich color once it's in the report environment. So that's all this selection is. And with that table inside of my slicer, then the DAX selected value measure will then harvest the selection being made here. And then that will tell it in the button which page to go to using conditional formatting. So I really like this as a dynamic way to be able to navigate between pages without having to have a button for each page. You could have a selection of which page to go to and then just one master button to navigate, so to speak. And the only other thing I did between each of the pages is I made sure that my slicer here was synced with the other ones so the selection would remain the same, which is over in the sync slicers pane. And as you can see, the slicer is on all three pages and it is synced between all three pages. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.